Oh, Nicole, you saying I should put it like, like guest request the account, and then put it in the box? You mean that? Uh, it's not a bad idea. It's actually a good idea. I do got my trap phone. Okay, that makes sense. I do got my trap phone, so you know I can do that. Yeah, it's a good idea. Hmm. Let me give that a try. If you are a believer in Christ, yes, request, come on up. You guys, I've been in TikTok jail for a whole week, and I'm out. I'm free. I'm free. Oh, where my trap phone at, bro? We got 74 people. And we should be at a thousand likes so we can get this show on the road. My trap phone missing. Because there is no God. Okay, he's cruel. Oh, I agree, there is no God. There is no God of the Bible. If you are a believer in the Christian God, guess a question, come on up. Guess a question, come on up. Let me download. Oh, shoot. Now I got to sign into the Google Play Store on here. Shouts out to everybody coming through. Tap that screen. Tap that screen. Guest requests, come on up. Why is the Christian God not protecting kids that get violated by P3DOs? Guest requests and come on up. Guest requests and come on up. I have missed you guys. I have missed y'all. It is sad that I got taken out by the TikTok police. You know, they, they see a brother on the rise. And they go like, dang. We gotta stop him. He getting too powerful out here in these streets. And then you know what? I took it. I did my time in TikTok jail and now I'm out. I'm back. I feel like I'm finna get hit again today. Watch me get banned again. <laughs> Watch me get banned again, bruh. Hey, well, I'ma stand on business. I'ma stand on business in TikTok jail if that happens. <laughs> Twenty-five to life. Psh, hey, I'll do. I'll do eternity in TikTok jail if I need to. I'll do eternity. I'm willing to sit. Ain't my first time up in there. The food good too. God moves through people. God is not a specific force within the agenda. God is the spirit. Which, if you are Christian, guess request and come on up. Some of you say God is good. I don't think a good a good being like God should be sitting by letting kids get messed with. I think that's kind of strange, you know. People say people say he's good all the time and all that stuff and it's like how is he good all the time and he just watches these acts that happen to children? How is he good all the time? Don't judge God for man's actions. I'm not judging God for man's action. I'm asking, what is God doing? Hello. Thanks for letting me up. First of all, I want to for bringing up this point. Thank you very much. People will sit here and say that it's God's intervention when something good goes on in the world. Like they get more success. They get something working out for them. But when you question them about this, not even with adults, with children, all the horrible things that happen to children, then all of a sudden they get this mysterious, mysterious spiel, like one of the comments talk about free will. We understand that human beings have free will, but if you say there's divine intervention in the world, why isn't divine intervention being used to at least protect the most innocent of us? Why isn't some type of P3DO falling over from a heart attack when they do something to a kid? But yet people will sit here and say, if you speak vainly about God, you could get struck by a lightning or something like that. So they are the biggest hypocrites. And from a racial standpoint, it is ridiculous that people who look like us, and yes, I'm a black male, still worship this 
this white Christianity that was pushed onto us when some of our ancestors were in, in bondage under slavery. It is freaking ridiculous. Doesn't mean you can't a deity, doesn't mean you can't have spirituality, but to worship in a way that they force some of us to worship, it's just not mon a mind numbing. So I definitely appreciate you for bringing this up. Oh, thank you. And look, I also agree with your point about the whole, and, and RT said, never back down, never what? Never give up. That's what we never do over here. Tick, they put me in TikTok jail, it's all good. I'll, I'll come back even stronger. But Black Moderate, to your point that I, I like that you brought up, um, Christians will say, oh, God bless me with this new house. God bless me with, uh, we God God just paid my rent. Thank you, God. Oh, my gosh, God just, just healed me of my cancer. Thank you, God. Oh, but when something bad happens, oh, no, 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 no. That's not God. That's not God. That's the devil. That's the devil. But in Isaiah 45, 7, it is said that God created good and he has created evil. He has created peace and he has created calamity. So to blame everything on the devil is kind of wild. I'm not saying that the devil doesn't do anything, but to say that God doesn't put anything into motion is kind of wild. And God is supposedly stronger than the devil. So the devil ain't really doing much. God created the devil. God created evil. If anything, it's also God's fault when the bad stuff still happens. He has a part in it regardless. So yeah, Christians always doing that stuff, always, always boggled me. And somehow every good thing happens to them is God, is God, is God. Like, nah, maybe, uh, maybe how about you start giving credit to the people that, you know, help you out and not some imaginary thing in the sky. Well, I, I do believe in there's a universal force at work because there are some things that happen um, that can't be explained. However, when they try to, you know, specify it like through the Bible and other religious texts and we bring up stuff like that, it's like you still got people in the comments. They're saying their stuff about free will, but they deflected away from what you just said about like how come this? Because it was free will of a human being um, to do other things that might not have been bad. But see, like I said, the point I'm making is that we say that people suffer karma, suffer this, or this is what happened to them because of something they did in violation to religion, violation to another person. But as I'm saying, some of the most heinous acts that adult human beings have done to children, you're telling me that this benevolent deity is not going to instantly cause something to happen when they are committing some of the most heinous things to children. I mean, we're not talking about maybe slapping a child or some. We're talking about some of the most heinous things, like what you mentioned, that can happen to children. You're telling me that this deity would not intervene in that in some type of way, but they can intervene in some other way. Like, you could say, ah, oh, F you, and then all of a sudden you fall over with some type of situation. So saying I F you or, man, F that or something... Is, is more is worse than actually doing direct harm to a child. They never, and then when they get found, people who worship these religions, these religious leaders, people are sitting here. I'm from one of the uh, most churchiest northeast cities in the United States, and they love to forgive their religious leaders when they get caught up doing something. So, you know, it's because it's because they love that community so much that they can't pull out from it. Because if they disconnect from it, if they disconnect from it, hold up just a moment. If they disconnect from it, they're going to lose literally a part of themselves and dang near their whole personality because they put their whole personality into this belief. What's good, PK? Yeah, I'm a, uh, I believe, I, what's good, what's good, man? So, why is the Christian God not protecting kids that get violated by P3DOs? It's, it's the same as last time I was here. It's, it's free will. Oh, I had you up before? Yeah. And then you guys didn't let me finish when you ended the live. Oh, wait. Oh, then I, I said, wait, was that? Hold on, I'm heading I, in the elevator. Man, I, I, man I, got, I got a gang of lies I'll be doing. But look, I, I don't really remember you, but we can, we can run through it again. If you're a Christian guest request, come on up. I got a question up here, and I need some answers. Good job, so you can get in, because I will probably argue with this guy. So I appreciate you letting me come up. Thank you. Have a good one. 
Thanks for coming up. It's, Black. it's all good. I'm here. I just had to get up. Rams, are you a, you a believer in God? Yes, I'm a believer in God. Cool, cool, cool. So, why is a Christian God not protecting kids that get violated by P3DOs? Mm, let me see. Uh, let me see. Look, if you say free will, he's gonna he's gonna say, "Oh yeah, it's not free will," because when people something happens good, he's gonna attribute it to God. But that's what's that's a still P3 free will about DOS. Well, it's TikTok terms of service, so I can't really say the word. But you know those people that touch. Oh, low, low ones. Oh, oh, you're talking about those people. Oh. Oh, okay. Let me see. I don't know. I don't know why people do that. I mean, we know why people do it. I'm just saying, why doesn't no, but like, God stepping and doing things? Like, why do people do it? Why, why, why would somebody, why would somebody want to like touch somebody like that? Because they're weird and just sick in the head. I mean, but no, but like, no, but nobody taught them better. I mean, yeah, that's part of it. I'm pretty they sure was, they kind of know. They better. wasn't taught better. They was probably touched when they was kids too, and they're repeating the same behavior. You know, same thing happened to R. Kelly. He was touched when he was younger. He also had a weird attraction to his mother. We all seen it, and look what happened when he grew up. Yeah. So I mean, we know why people do this stuff, but why doesn't God step in and do anything? I mean, I mean, all he really, I mean, all he really did was Chris. Like, he never told us he was going to protect us. He already told us he was going to protect us. But why is he, isn't he protecting them in the moment when it's happening? Why is he just sitting there watching it? Like I was saying, why would people do that? Because God can't control people. Just, just how, just how your, just how your parents can't control your actions. Okay, so God's not powerful enough to stop people from doing something. I don't, same thing with your parents. I guess your I my, guess your parents aren't powerful enough to stop you from doing this argument. Yeah, my parents aren't gods. They're but but how, no, but how are you gonna justify saying? But how are you gonna say God's um? Let me see. If God was so great, why would you let this happen? Is God is God all powerful? He is all powerful. He, can God can God do whatever He wants? Can yeah, God, well, can, God can. can God do can God do anything He wants? He can. Yeah, he can do everything He wants, but we can't make Him force something to do what, he, what we want want Him to do. And honestly, okay, kind of, so, uh, uh, okay, 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 okay. So, so when people say, "God, please help me with my rent," and their rent get paid, how many What's times that? has God paid rent for people? Now, I don't know. A lot of a lot of Christians uh, say, "When well, I was down on my luck, God came name, name down one. and paid my rent." People. Name one. Dude, a lot of people. A lot, shoot, a lot of people know, say like, when, they it, when, it, when they get it when they when they get into when they a lot of, a lot of people it's say it when they get it when they do this and a lot of people no no say, Can you give no us no hola hola hola. There's Christians that have prayed to get a house and guess what? Oh, they ended up getting a house. There's a lot of Christians who who prayed that their that their illness goes away and guess what? Well, that's a whole nother it subject. went away thanks no, to God. Yeah, but, but, you're, but you're telling you us somebody us a touching another person. That's way different. Yeah, somebody just, just like, being rent. That's way different. You can't you so, can't you can't just you can't just change their argument saying God will help you on this, but He won't help you on that. No, I'm yeah. just saying if if, he, if God if if, with these if 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 God's going to help people with their illnesses, if God and also God stepped in to get His chosen people out of slavery. All right, what about, right, what about he, judge? All right, what about judges? But who did he move don't, through? Don't, don't they testify saying like uh, they get this amount of sentence? Don't they get this? Don't they get this amount of punishment if they like get caught doing it? Look, look, I mean, look, they still get talk, caught doing wait, it. Wait, 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 Rams. We're talking about God. We're not talking about no, judges. No. We're not talking about yeah, why no, people God's do the things. Same thing as a, no, the God saying that as a judge. He still Rams, does, thing as a Rams, judge. Rams, does does God love children? He does. Okay, so why is he watching children get violated, not doing anything? Like I was saying before, humans do that. He yeah, can't force. He can't force. Obviously, obviously, no, Rams, 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 Rams. No, Rams. It's obvious. No, no, it's obvious. It's obvious that his people are doing it. it no, 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 Why are people doing it? Why are people doing it? Why not? Rams, 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 Rams. Stop, 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 stop. Rams, stop deflecting. Stop deflecting. Stop deflecting. Rams. I know why. I know it's people doing it. Obviously, 
okay, then why don't you help Seth to do with it? Because since since you're trying to make this like an argument, why don't you do something with it? Why don't other people do something about it? Why? why I mean, there is actually people why doing stuff about, about it, but but about we're not all powerful you know, beings. Rams, why can we Rams, do about Rams, it? No, Rams, no, Rams, 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 Rams. There is people doing stuff about it. We're not all powerful beings, though. We can't just instantly stop it. God can do that. Let me you answer. Can, no, you can still help the cause. Yeah, there is people Look, helping man. it. Yeah, we're all helping. No, we're, but are you helping the cause? Are you helping the cause? Yeah, Look, bro. He, he's not answering I, the question. I, I, bro. I Let me answer. Cause. I have the cause. Go ahead, go ahead, PK. You answer it. It's free will, but if if you say, <clears throat> "Oh yeah, why isn't he why isn't he interfering?" Then would that give you a, like an option to to believe or not? Because if he comes down and interferes, it's going to be like, "Oh yeah, he's." He's real, so that that takes out the faith. All right, P P K. When you get to heaven, do you have free will? It takes out the faith that innocent people. That you still have free touched, will. Yes. It takes out the faith. Okay, so so so, do you have the free will to do sin in heaven? Hmm? You yeah, do, but it's will. it's the same as being like, oh yeah. So you know everybody that's in prison. It's it's kind of like the same as people that are in hell. You don't want so to go to can, prison. So no, you're no, not so do so 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 so. so because like they're, so they're you, only you getting can, punished by a census. They're actually not. Get, they're actually not getting burned. That's way. Those are two different things. So you can you can sin in heaven. Well, no, as soon as the presence heaven. of sin is there, then no, you, you, you won't be in heaven. Uh, PK, PK, really quickly. Um, you said if he, uh, what's it called? If he intervenes, then it will take away the whole if thing. If he okay. makes himself known, then would Didn't that give intervene? you a choice of? Oh, one sec. Didn't he intervene both in the Old Testament and the New Testament? So what's wrong with him intervening when a child is getting touched? I mean, would that give you an option to believe or not? If if he intervenes and it's right there, it has nothing. It has nothing to do yeah, with whether it, I. It, it, it would actually, it would actually convince well, people more. Can I, I mean, ask a question? It's, it's not really convincing. Like and like it's, how it's saying before, that God's real. not going to show yeah, yeah. cuz even, even if God shows up to people, they're still going to reject him. So what's po what's point of God helping people right? Well, now? well, Rams, 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 I, I have Rams, a question. Rams. Rams. Talking about the same hold, thing. Hold on, you guys. I got to Oh, wait, 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 Oh, yeah. no, I'm, I'm wait, here. wait. I'm here. I'm gonna answer these before. Okay. I go well, Man, Man, Manuela, go ahead and ask PK your question so I can respond to Ram's point. They're saying that if God were to make Himself known today, then it takes away the faith. Sorry, I got a phone call. But if if God were to make Himself known today, then it takes away the faith. What's the point of Jesus coming back? Have you read your Bible? I absolutely have. Acts 1, 1 11. What does it say? I mean, since you're pulling out the scripture, why don't you tell me? I don't have my Bible with me. I'm, a, I'm about to get in the car and go to work. Acts 1 11, just to basically summarize it, tells you of Jesus' is coming and that he's coming to take his people with him, the, the chosen people, whatever it is, right? So if you're saying that if he makes himself known today, then people would lose faith. If people would lose it's faith, it's not what people losing faith. Jesus It'll eliminate back. the option of you having faith. I mean, I mean, what's the yeah, yeah? This thing. What's the point in having faith when it's better to just know that God exists? I mean, I know you exist. <laughs> yeah, like it, okay. So wait, 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 wait. Do you believe or do you know God exists? I know. All right, okay. you know, all right. You know God exists, mm -hmm. but you know, those are two different things. Those are two different things. You believe a God, but you don't believe We're about God. to get the goggles. We're about to get the science goggles out because if you go into oh, I know uh, territory, hey, hey, you're I, can, have I, to I, prove it. I could do this. I could do this. I could do this. I know science. You, are, are you, you, are you sure you want to do that? Yeah. Okay. So, PK, how do you know that the Christian God is the true God that exists? I mean, look look at what happens around the world. The things that are in the in the Bible that left a mark on the world, you can see that they're there, and there's no earthly way of, of being there. If you look at, like, there's things called the physical constants. If there's, you can't fine tune a universe like this, and that just happens to chance. There has to be a designer. You can't create life from non-life. I can, I can go on for hours, but I really do. Okay, so, okay, so, so what created God? I mean, it says he's everlasting, everlasting. He created space, time. In the earth, so you can't bind so, him by those principles. Okay, so so he basically just created his own conscience and made himself. He he brought himself no, out was, of the egg. 
he's always there. There's there's no way okay, that Okay, but even if he's always there, he that. still he still needs to have been there's something had to have caused him. Just like how you guys no, would say, you know, not, something he's caused not a me. physical being, so he can't be caused. Wait, 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 so wait, wait, you, you said you said that you were ready for a sign like a, a science perspective or a scientific perspective, but then that just makes your entire argument fallacious if you're just going to say he already existed and those I mean, laws don't apply to him. That's outside of time and space. So right. If, so if, your entire argument of saying that you can contend that pointless science is false, your your entire argument is invalid automatically. Because oh. you, you, you're you basically saying he, because he's the proof just there. Is in science he's just can, there. But, but then you have not given substantial evidence as, as to how he exists or you believe he exists. You just said, look at how everything in the world is and look at the Bible. Let's take the Bible out of that because we can as well just use any other religious text, right? And say, well, my religious text proves that my God exists. Yeah, but we can there's, do that there's across no proof every religion. Text. So, so let, let's take religious text out of it. Can you prove that God exists without religious text? Well, how do we get here? It has to be a creator, right? I, I know, I know how we got here. Like, I, I know who very, my creator is. My creator is my mother and my father. That's who my creator how is. Did, Anyone? How did humans get here? Humans, it's, it's humans very evolution. simple. It's literally PK. Okay, so what did we evolve from? PK, nobody literally knows exactly how we got <laughs> are, are there humans? So for you, PK, to make that statement is is a bold statement. It's fine if you say, I believe, that's cool. We're allowed to believe in whatever. But you said you know. So now you have to provide objective evidence to prove Look, that man, claim when, is when's true. When's the next time you got to go live? Because I, I really do have to go to work. I've been sitting outside the elevator. Um, I'll probably be live later tonight. All right. I will be on. If you're if you're live during my lunch break, I'm just going to tell everybody how it is. It's It's like easy science. Mm. All right, then. I'll see you later to stand on business. I'll be here. I'll okay. be here. You guys, PK will be back later to stand on business, but he has to go. He has to get back to work, and I respect the working man. Go make that money. Don't let that money make you. It may you be washing the blood of Jesus. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. He's so, washed. So where is the, so where is there um, types of evidence that God doesn't exist? Where's that evidence from? Wait, wait, are you saying, the, well, which God? The Christian God? Which God? The Christian God. Okay, um, well, I mean, I haven't seen no proof out there for him. I mean, most of the stuff that happens in this book that covers him doesn't make any sense. The flood. I, A lot of stuff is nonsense. Oh, uh, virgin, vir, 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 wait, wait, virgin, virgins being, virgins getting pregnant and having babies. That doesn't make any sense, you know. So why do you think it doesn't, doesn't make, make any sense? sense? Why do you think it doesn't make any sense? Rams, well, what is it well, 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 Rams, at those times, uh, you couldn't be a virgin and be pregnant. That doesn't go together. So who, so who, made, who made those people to become one? Who? The woman and the man. Because she was saying, like, we are made... Well, I, well, no, well, we are, well, I, well I, obviously she did something with a man and got pregnant and right, a baby so, came out. So, who, so who's the one who gave birth to them? Birth to who? Jesus? No, their parents. Yeah, their parents gave birth to them. All right, then who gave birth to them? Their parents. Then who gave birth to them? Their parents and their parents and the parents before that and all the, all the parents. All right, then what was the first people uh, uh, the first people on living on Earth? Is there any scientific evidence that there was the mm -hmm. first person that lived on Earth? Yes, there, I, I, no, I, I'll, there, I'll, no, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I, no, no, I know this for a fact. Yes, yes, yes. No, no, I have the evidence. I the first there. two people, the first two people on Earth, the beings that we stem from, one is called Godzilla and the other is called Kong. They made a baby and we popped out. Boom. You know, you know that's you know that's a false accusation that you're making, right? And like that's not even scientific. That's not even scientifically true. But Rams, you can't prove otherwise. You literally but, cannot. No, no. But you try. No, but you try to say we we evolution off what? We try to make evolution off what? I don't What's know that? what you're trying to say. I'm kind of confused. No, it's just that we evolved. Off yeah, of we're kind of going off of topic. Like, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Rams, way off topic. You, could you explain to us just why the Christian God doesn't protect children and literally just stands there whilst the child is getting raped, please? 
why? Yes. Yes. You know, like, why is he just standing there looking at it? Watching, if he loves does children? he like it? Does he? Does he not care? Does he not exist? Like, which one is it? I don't know if you guys believe this, but you guys believe in the devil? No. Yeah, that's why I believe in no spiritual, magical nonsense. I, I do. I believe the devil exists. Now go on. All right. So let me see. You, you, have you heard this one thing, um, Aerith, as you do comes back to you? Okay, yes, of course. Karma, the concept of karma. Yeah, karma. Mm -hmm. All right, whatever you want to call it. So doesn't the same thing happen to people? Because what? Because why should God want to intervene? Because He already made a system where you already get you already get payback. Because even though they're molesting the children now, you don't know what's gonna happen to them later. Hold on. So no, wait, 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 wait. We're not we're not talking about Rams, Rams. You're you're Rams. You're still deflecting Rams, Rams, Rams. No, 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 no. You're still deflecting. How many instants are getting touched right now? How many instants are getting touched right now? No, how many instants are getting touched right now? How much? There's probably how much? There's more than likely children getting touched right now. There's children right, human trafficking much? uses you know, slaves much? How much? for those acts. You say Israel get touched by a lot much? of them. How much? It's a lot of them. How much? It's a lot of them. How much? It's a lot of them. Hold on, hold on. Rams, Rams, Rams. Wait. You're, you're deflecting anyways, can I, can Rams. You're I, deflecting from Can I have this point. conversation with him real quick? Just real quick. I, I really want to understand where he's coming from. Yeah, look, Rams, yeah. there, there's 8 Man. billion people on this planet, Man. right? Wait, wait, wait. Man, Melo, before you continue, let me just make this clear. Rams, you keep on deviating. You keep running to humans. I know that humans do bad stuff. Stay stuck on God. Why is your God not standing on business? He loves children. He's caring. He's good all the time. Why is he not helping kids? And why is he watching it? Stay on topic with God. I know why people do effed up stuff. Why is God looking at it? Why? Go because, ahead, Manuela. Because he can't, he can't help people who disobey him. He can't help people who disobey him. Wow. Wait wait wait, wait. So, so, no, no, wait wait so so wait wait so 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 those children those so all those children are disobeying him all the victims are disobeying him. Their parents were. That's what does their parents have? Well, no no. What does their parents have to do with it? Their parents got nothing to do with it. So how, th those kids those those kids are disobeying. No, how you gonna say that? How you gonna say that? No 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 no. So 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 Rams those kids are those kids that are victims are disobeying God. Especially the Christian children. What about them? Wait, but how is they you disobeying know? God? But how they know? But how would you know they're getting persecuted? Or getting Rams, Rams, I, I, I don't. I, 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 I'm not even. No, you keep. No, you keep saying why is the Christian God so good? No, Wait, Rams. You keep saying why is the Christian Rams God? Rams is, Rams Rams is Rams off topic. Rams is honestly, off topic. I, I feel like Man, you really, Man, Manuela, really if, if you want to have a moment with him, go ahead. You can have a moment. I with really him, do Manuela. because we'll move on to K. Rams. Are children born with sin? No. So what, what, you know that newborns can be, um, S8 or can be touched, right? So what sin or what wrong have, have those newborns or children done to deserve that? They haven't done anything. So that invalidates your entire point of saying that they could have done something wrong or it comes back I mean, to not them. Really. And it's I true. Would. Hold on. It's true. Listen, I'm, I'm trying to understand your point. And I, I'm sorry if this was like an attack on your religion, but we're really trying to understand where your logic comes from, right? And that's what I'm trying to do, but you're not making sense. Stop trying to hang on onto like little things. If you're wrong, you're wrong. If you can't prove it, just say, I'm sorry, I can't prove it. That's how we move on in arguments. But I need you to answer these questions honestly. You're deflecting. He's asking you one question. You said God loves all. I agree. In your religion, it teaches you that he loves all. So why does he stand by and watch people suffer, especially children that are being touched? Answer that question if you can't just say i cannot prove that i cannot answer that you want me to you want me, you want me to quote scripture go for it all right sure. all right john 10 10 the enemy kills still and destroys but god says i have come to give you life okay you know, all right you remember what i said the enemy kills still and destroys ain't, ain't you know what he's doing right now the what so Sorry, so the reason why, so Rams, just to confirm, the reason why the Christian God sits by and watches children get essayed is because the devil comes to steal, unalive, and destroy, correct? Yes. Okay, thank you for that answer. I mean, he doesn't approve it, but he allows it. No problem. So, so children it get essayed. Thank you. 
for confirming that for us. So it makes sense to you to, to, to dedicate your entire life and to worship a God that punishes because of another person's actions or another entity, whatever you want to refer to the devil as. Mm. That makes sense to you. Yeah, and of course that's sense. someone that you're going to say he's a loving and merciful God. Yeah. But th th just the same way, it's it's been told that because Eve and Adam committed a sin, entire the entirety of humanity has to suffer for that, mm. right? Yeah. That makes sense. That's a merciful and loving God. Mm. Now, okay, cool. In like two minutes, we're gonna move on. That, that's that's the, that's the entire reason why I left Christianity because I was being told that a God that I I dedicated my entire life to was going to take me to hell because I was this way or because I didn't follow this, right? That's not a loving and merciful God. That's an oh, egotistical oh, wait, wait, wait. entity. Right. Now, wait, wait, wait. I, I want to ask you, what does it mean to exist? Because we kind of moved away from that. And I, I have to drop soon, but I really want to ask you that. What does it mean to exist? What does it mean to exist? Yes. Living. So... How is God living? He's a spirit. He's always living. What's your evidence for this? Like substantial evidence for this to prove that God is indeed real and he's living and he exists. What's your evidence for that? And if you can't just say, um, I, don't I can't. Know. Yeah, exactly. Just say, I don't know. But if you can't answer, go ahead. All right. You know how, you know how a building, you know how a building is made? Jesus Christ. <laughs> No. <laughs> no. I love the building you know, how, you, know how, you know how people create buildings? How do people yeah. create buildings? Go ahead. Who who gave them the knowledge to like create that building? Them themselves, humans. No. Too. No, but who but who gave them the knowledge to do that? Because they didn't learn that firsthand. They they so go to college, they, they develop they that to go to for school themselves. For it. Okay. Yeah, exactly. But those other teachers who gained the knowledge to do that. They do the same thing. Some people no, prior. It doesn't go on until centuries and centuries. No. Yes, human, humans yeah. teach humans, somebody, teach oh, humans how to how build did, buildings. How, how did, um, somebody else humans, humans teach, teach humans how to build buildings. You keep try, no, you keep trying to deny it. You keep trying to deny it, but it's true. Deny what? The, you're you're, you're you going to, to hold on. To I know your God, argument. No, you're God, going God, to go back God. to God lives through then, then us through the look, things look, that look, we look, man, look, man, look, man, look, 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 wait, 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 you guys, you guys, wait, 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 hold up, hold up, Rams, you have done nothing but deflect. I need to move on to new guests. You are not answering the questions. You couldn't even answer my question specifically. You kept jumping to people, so I'm gonna have to move on from you, man. Thanks for coming up, though. I got to wash you in the blood of Jesus before you go. Have a great day. Stay clean you end up with the blood of Jesus. What's good, Kay? Okay, so hi. Um, I don't know everybody's, like, religious, you know, affiliation, but I do want to ask. Christian up here. Oh, go ahead, Kay. What's up? Yeah, I do want to ask questions uh, about y'all point of view. Cause I don't, cause I don't know. Maybe you guys can inform me about something. I don't know. But well, 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 real quick, let me just make sure you're you're a believer, right? Or like, where do you stand? Me? Oh yeah. Well, yeah. both, both I, you guys, both you guys, K, I'm, K, and Z. Yeah, y'all believers in God, the Christian. No, God. I'm really just like spiritual. Like I just believe in myself. I don't. Okay. But I did want to ask questions. I was gonna ask. Um, so how do you know the morality in the Bible is actually accurate? Um, are you asking me? It's not accurate. None, I don't think either of us think it's accurate at all. Okay. Yeah. Well, there, there, are some, there are some morals I can probably agree with, but majority of them were created by primitive people that were actually pretty, you know, pretty sick and nasty. I'm not saying we still don't do nasty stuff today, but I, I mean, know. these are the same, these, these, these are the same people that I thought sleeping with under age people was like normal so exactly <laughs> mind you that, that that mind you these are the people that wrote the book they thought sleeping marrying little kids was okay so let's remember that yeah and killing innocent children and babies are okay but um also if he is a divine spiritual being why does he take form of a human and a male at that because human evolution came millions of years after creation so i want to ask that too uh, well, repeat the question. Um, if he is a divine spiritual being, um, why does he take form of a human 
especially a male, because human evolution came millions of years after creation? Well, it said that uh, due to what I've been told, like, he became like a... Uh, how should I put this? Mm, well, when he became, like you say, when he became like uh you said human form, like when he was Jesus, right? Came down yes, as his Jesus. male form. Yeah, when he came down as uh, his male form, as you said, like uh, due to what I know, I mean, it was like for him to like experience like uh, just life as a human. So he he seen like the same problems that we go through, went through the same exact temptations that we go through. Probably seen the same P three DOs, all that stuff. He probably seen all of that going around, but, like, like actually experiencing it and feeling it as a human. So he that was the whole purpose of why he did that and then, you know, sacrificed his life. But, I mean, can't he technically just see all that from... I mean, he knows the human experience. He supposedly created us, so yeah, why yeah, does he need to, like, he, sit nah, there? He's if he's total. always actively seeing it and experiencing it, if he's omnipresent, um, omnipotent, and all that. Yeah, no, but, I mean, that's true. What I, what I mean by, like, I, I guess what I meant to say is that, and this is just due to what I've been told. Like I said, I ain't a professional preacher, but I'm a believer. But so what I say is, like, uh, due to what I know, it's like it was more so so he can, like, like feel. Uh, like I said, he went through an actual human experience because it's different. Like him being all God, being all powerful, you know, you know, it's different than him actually coming down as a human and like limiting, limiting. Uh, what's the word? You get my point. Like him being him being a human was different than him being a god that's up in the sky that we all believe. So when he became Jesus, you know, it was it was for him to like be able to like uh, experience like just the same feelings that we feel. He was he allowed the devil to you know tempt him as a human, so he could go through the same things we did. So just to like stay on topic, uh, Z, could you help us yeah, understand we'll why the topic. Christian God yeah, yeah. Um, doesn't protect kids that get violated by P3DOs, please? Yeah, yeah. Now back to you. So to the question, I'm going to answer. And real quick, I'm going to just say this. Like I said, I'm not, I know there's, there's probably somebody better that can give you a better answer than I can, but I'm going to give you the best I can. I'm going to tell you what I can. So, I mean. Just, just give me, give me the best you can, but please answer directly. Yeah, yeah, but I ain't even go, I ain't gonna be. Give me the best thing you can, but yeah, don't beat around the bush. Go I got ahead. you. I ain't gonna beat around the bush with you. But uh, let me read it again. Yeah, to put it quite simple, um, I mean, I feel like if you live in a life without God, uh, anything can really happen in the world. That's that's from what I from what I know, and it ain't to say like it's too late for nobody or nothing like that, but it's just from what I know is that, I mean, if you live in a life without them, like, I mean, anything can happen. It's the world. And people sit against each other, and, yeah, people going to tell you it's also the devil that's running around and doing stuff, but, I mean, ultimately, people sin against each other. And, you know, it's not it's not like God saying, oh, send this P3DO. No, nah, it's just people doing that to each other. It's not, he's not, he's not approving of it. He ain't wanting that to happen. But, you know, so 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 are the babies living without God? I mean, not the babies, but the children. Are the children that are in these situations are they living without God or something? Um, uh, it depends. I would say, like I said, due to what I know, I mean, if the parents are like not raising them like around that, I like I said, mind you, my fault if I because there might be Christians that want to correct me. You know what I'm saying? And my fault if I don't know, but. What I, from what I know, um, yeah, I mean, if I feel like if you're not around, like I said, the parents is raising, it's not necessarily the kids not purposely doing that, but if the parents are not, you know, put them around that or like, I don't know how they put it, but. But, yeah. but even, well, this thing, even if the parents live holy, you can't avoid being potentially SA because. Let's say you, a kid go to school. The local janitor could do it. Let's say, you know, you take your kid to the park. There's a local weirdo that might have a van. Snap that kid up and, uh, you know, snatch that kid up, put him in the van. Mm. Living living holy and living by God is not going to fully 100% protect your kid. 
the, this is the only way you can protect your kid, which is, I'm just being honest, is also not a good way, but lock them up in your house 24 seven. So they're constantly in your care. I'm not saying do that, but if you want to keep them away from the world, seclude them into a place. I'm not saying do it before they end up like Homelander, but mm. that's the only way you can hide your kid and have them avoid the horrors, the horrors of the world. Yeah, I'm not saying do that though. I'm and also, Z, you know, you mentioned about it could be the parents and blah blah blah. It's like, what? Why would a loving God punish a child in such a horrific way just because the parents sinned? Do you well, think that's acceptable, in your opinion? Well, it's just like we all agreed, though. Every all of us agreed on this. From what I heard, is that, I mean, it's not God punishing them, though. Is the thing was, and I'm a matter of fact, I'm a, I want to ask that question. I want you to can you repeat the question because I feel like I almost got off topic. <laughs> All right, uh, so why does a Christian why is a Christian God not protecting kids that get violated by P thirty L's in the moment? In the moment when it's happening, why is God just sitting there looking at it and not acting? Well I'm saying no 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 I'm saying like what RT was saying, my fault. Oh good okay, uh, RT, repeat your question. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned about it's the like front to the parents and them being like not their people. So I asked, well, why would a loving God punish the child for something the parents did? Right, okay. Yeah, I mean, and that, that's what I was going to say. Um, yeah, but, okay, so I'll say it real quick. Yeah, I feel like what we agreed on is that he's not punishing them. It's more, it's not a punishment. It's, it's what he's allowing to happen. But it does say somewhere in the Bible, like, and excuse me if I'm quoting it wrong. Maybe y'all know it more than I do. But I'm pretty sure I do say, like, that he kind of warns the parents. He tells the, these people, like, if you're going to be a parent, you know, and you can see this all around, but he warns the parents that, hey, like, your actions is going to, uh, it's going to, and it, it don't necessarily got to be even a P3DO thing, but your actions as a parent does kind of, uh, dang, what's the word? It kind of affects your children. And it's, it's just due to how you raise them in general. So it's like, yeah, even, yeah. Even Which, the, go ahead. I don't disagree. I don't disagree with that, but. What case is there that now? Okay, let's do this for an example. The parents that were working with R. Kelly, right, mm -hmm. sending off their little girls and stuff to go to him. Now that's a situation that could have been easily avoided by the parents being good parents and not just doing that. Now there's a bunch of cases where, um, you know, kids get kidnapped abducted and it is whole it, it these parents you know they also believe in the same faith at faith same faith as you there are some things that you cannot prevent like yeah, yeah. You, you, what, I'm, what i'm saying is you can't fully com prevent you can do so you can there's only so much you can do to prevent that stuff from happening right but yeah. even this this stuff happens in the families like you got the uncles the fathers doing it to their own kids that their own kids their own flesh and blood yeah, I know. Yeah. Wow. So it's it's like it's hard to nip it in the bud by living holy. Yeah. I'm yeah, no. I mean hmm. So wait, wait, real quick. Uh Corey, are you a believer in God? I wanna get I wanna get all the Christians, everybody in on this conversation. Cole, are you Christian too? Yeah, I'm gonna have the uh, panel balanced out. Yeah, yeah. I'm a Eastern Orthodox Corey. I, I am so. You believe in God too? Cool, 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 cool. So I just let me just get you guys' answer to the question. Um, so why is a Christian God not protecting kids that get violated by P3DOs? Are you asking me? Am I okay to go first? Yeah, go ahead, bro. Either one, you guys. Okay. So I believe that God's just in the sense that He allows us to make our own decisions. He gives us free will, and obviously we have the option to choose to sin or try to try our best to follow to live in Christ and um, not sin. And I don't necessarily view hell as a punishment. I view hell as just eternal separation from God. I think, I think if you spend your entire life choosing to live away from him, then that, then you're going to spend eternity away from him. And so I believe he's just in the sense by allowing us to make our own decisions. And when other people make very poor decisions, like to be a P3DO and stuff, 
um, if God were to interfere with that, then we wouldn't be given free will and that would contradict um, the, the free will that he's given us. Okay. Corey, let me get your response. I'm going to ask all y'all something so we can get to a, get, so we, I can basically make it very simple for everybody. Go ahead, Corey. Yeah, so um, as an Orthodox Christian, the kind of main goal of, uh, I guess, like to answer somebody's question from before, like what's the purpose of life, I guess. Um, in Orthodoxy, we kind of refer to that purpose as uh, deification or uh, being unified with God. So that's kind of the ultimate goal, which... Uh, people still achieve not only or try to achieve in this life, but achieve in the afterlife. So everything we do is being judged. Um, I agree with what Cole said about free will. Um, And to kind of answer what you said about how like God is not intervening in these specific scenarios, um, like even if it's a Christian baby that's, you know, having these things happen to them. Um, It even says in the Bible, um, Blessed are those who persec- who are persecuted for righteousness' sake. Um, I think to be a Christian means to be, you know, you're, you have to be prepared to be persecuted in some sort of way, uh, which I think is a mindset that you should have going into most things. I mean, to know that God has the, the final say is something I'm okay with. I mean, personally, uh, like I'm a Palestinian, uh, I well, think... Well. Uh, Corey, it, it closes up and like you know, land the plane. Go, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, if I'm if I'm going too long, go ahead. Yeah. Okay. So let me, I just want to make sure with you guys, I don't know exactly how you feel on this. So is God good all the time? I believe so. Yes. Cole Z, you guys agree? Is God good all the time? Oh yeah. Yep. <clears throat> all right. Is God helpful? Yes. Does God love children? Yes. Is God caring? Yeah. All right. So based off how y'all feel about those questions, y'all answers to it. Why is this being sitting there? Mind you, let, let me just watching in the moment, kids getting violated, penetrated, all that. Why is he just sitting there looking at it? Because it's either this, it's either he doesn't care, he wants it to happen, or he might like looking at it. Uh, I mean, I mean, I put it like this: like one day when I have children, like God forbid, I I don't know what they do. I mean, I put it like this, right? Like, or even now, like when my parents, you know, they don't always know what I'm out there doing, like when I'm outside. But I'm sure they don't. They hope nothing come come give me hope. Nothing bad happen to me. But when I'm outside, I'm out. You know what I mean? And it's just like that. God being the Holy Father, as we believe. You know, he's our father, but at the same time, he he will give us our free will to go do what we do. Right, but but Z, you have to remember with your parents, when when you step outside into the world, you're 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 out of your parents' control. I mean, really, our parents shouldn't be like fully controlling us, but you're out of their jurisdiction of what they can do to assist you. Mm-hmm. You know, like they it like if, if you if you out on spring break in some other state or something, you know, your parents really can't do much for you. They can call you and keep in contact, but like. You know, it's but God, He's supposed to be there with you all the time, twenty four seven. He's actively there. So if yeah. if there's bad stuff happening to you while you on spring break, I mean, God should be stepping in as a father. It's true. I'm well. No, wait, wait. Let me say this. Let me say this because I'm sure. Um, I mean, because I feel what you're saying. I do. I feel exactly what you're saying. Um. I, but I would say it's up to me, like, to really keep, because, I mean, it ain't like, I mean, bro, I, like, I have, I have, uh, there's things I be getting into, but it's like, it's up to me, like, if I'm going to pray about it, if I'm going to try to lean on God, you know, about it, then, you know, then that's, that's on me. Uh, that's the way I, that's the way I would look at it. And normally things go my way when I, when I try to listen on God's end, but if I, due to my experience, right. doing things my way, I mean, and not listening to my Holy Father, I be getting in trouble. <laughs> That's the best way. Well, model. which which I can understand, but can I go and, ahead and say something? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And I, I, look, let's just make this simple because I want to get you guys' answer to the question, like the specific question, because I'm not really getting a direct answer. Yeah. Honestly, I feel I'm not getting a very direct answer. 
personally. I was so, going to try to answer your cool. last. I was going to try to answer your last question. So the last question was, someone like essaying another person. That is a result of their poor use of their free will. Because obviously, I think we can all agree that's a horrible thing to happen, and that that's poor use of their free will to do that. And if God were to just intervene and say like, "Oh no, you're not going to do that," then He wouldn't be the God of free will. Because we, like I said, like that's that's still that's somebody else's poor use of their of their free will. And that doesn't make it that doesn't make it okay. That doesn't make it good. But like I said, at the end of the day, he wouldn't be the god of free will if he if he let's see, let's see. In whenever let's something look, bad happened. Yeah. Look, look, Cody, this is the thing. I don't believe in a god. I don't believe in a devil. Right. I believe the actions humans do. Now, sometimes there's a situation where humans are coercing and stuff, and it's not really their fault on certain stuff. But for the most part, if I see a human assaulting a child, that's them. That's their action. They chose to do it. It's on right. them. I'm not going to blame the devil. I'm not going to blame, blame God. I know humans are responsible for their actions, so let me just make that clear. But yeah. this is the thing. I'm talking about God himself. He claims to be, yeah. he's good all the time. He cares about people. He loves children. But a person who loves children wouldn't sit there and watch a child get touched upon like that. Like, if you say you love children and you're good, you're caring and all that, and you're sitting there watching this action taking place, all the things that you're that you are your character all, all the things in your character that you claim you are are not adding up in it with this particular action happening so something doesn't add up and personally I I, I see, I personally I think as I said it's either this he wants it to happen he doesn't care or he likes to watch it that's the only three options of, of what it could be. Can I add to that? Too? I think that's where I disagree with you is because like like I said he's the god of free will and that's that's somebody else's decision like based off their poor use of their free will but guys right, but, i'm sorry but what, I, have, what, I have to go back what, to work could i that's add that's fine that's fine uh, what you're, said thinking it, god, you're thinking of god as as a person as like some guy that's walking down the street and witnessing this instead of a divine being that gave you choices you know what i'm saying you're not thinking of it as we are you know what i'm saying that's why we're not clicking when we're telling you this that's the I mean, I'm not thinking of him as a person, but we know he's good all the time, correct? Yeah. He's loving. He's caring. He loves, all, he loves children too, right? And he, okay, cool. So, children, children in these situations, they can't defend themselves. They can't. They can barely protect themselves. And there's so many people in on it that keeps them from, you know, having that voice to speak out and defend themselves. So, God is letting these defenseless individuals get constantly touched upon and he's just sitting there doing nothing. So what is the, what is the solution from God to like lightning strike them while, while they're doing it? Well, I, I don't understand. What is he supposed to do? I mean, send a heart attack their way. Have you, have you ever seen death note? Snap their ass out of the system. Death note. Thing, like, you know, thing is, <laughs> he's all powerful. It is not his place on earth to stop things from happening between humans. It's okay, not then why did he so, help okay, okay, the Israelites in. out of I'm sorry. slavery? Why, why, no, did no, he he did, no, yes. why did he harden Pharaoh's heart many, many times to have these plagues put on them and help the Israelites out of Egypt? To free his people. Well, but you just said that it's not his place to do that. So that he, was he, inter he intervened with people in that moment. That was because this is in his plan. It's not for us to understand this. Oh, this is, is a part of his his scheme and you it's up to you to to accept that or not. I mean I I'm not here to convince you. I'm giving you my points of view. Okay. But he you know what I'm saying he gave his his powers to uh in that scenario to free his people. And he's done it before with you, you know what I'm saying he, he's done it before with uh with Noah in the ark to to okay. flood the lands. He's okay. done it before. Okay, but Baboon. So, 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 Baboon. Earlier, you said God loves people equally. Yeah. He chose to help his chosen people. So it's clear people. he's biased. He doesn't love everybody equally. He doesn't give them the same amount of equal care and support like people, he does his chosen people. His people are the people that believe and know he exists. So if you don't believe in him, you're not a part of his people. Why? Why would he wait, say? Wait. Wait. So, 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 it's no children that was essay that believed in God. That what do you mean? No, that's, out not, for that's, not, that's not the same scenario. That was a grand scale thing. When he flooded no, the earth. No. 
That was a. No, I'm not talking about the flood. I'm not. I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about the flood. So, so, the, the, so his chosen people, the chosen people, believed in them faithfully. All that, right? His chosen people. Yeah, they're they're a, they're a sick okay. people that were born from people who knew God. Right, and there's there's Abraham. children that are there's children that are Christians that believe in God, and they get essay, Abraham. and God doesn't do nothing for them. He doesn't. I mean, what? Like I said, what do you want him to do? To that's what I'm saying. As I said, out of existence. That's that's not his place. Do something. Do something. He, that, Jesus do something. Died for our because baboon, ba baboon, baboon. Uh, make sure you guys say unalive. Don't say the words like K I L L. TikTok turns the service. My fault. My fault. My fault. Look, you cannot be. All right. If it, if it, I if it, if it, I told it, you it, baboon, baboon, baboon. If I told you I was a good person that loved children. And, and I was standing in front of R. Kelly watching him do something to a little kid and just watching it, not doing anything. What would you think of me? You're a, you're a pretty weird person. Right. Pretty weird, nasty, sick. Con- yeah. You know, I don't, I don't, and, and what I said doesn't stand, it doesn't make sense with what I, what doesn't add up with my character. I told you I'm a good person, I'm yeah. loving, but I'm sitting here watching R. Kelly do this act to a, ch- to a child. Yeah. So in the case of God, He's no different than me. He's a weirdo watching little He's kids very get touched upon. From you, he is. That's the point where we don't agree upon. You are thinking of him as a as a as a similar to you, as a as a as a homie, as a left person, as another human being. He's not a human being. It does not def- define himself by your logic. Babu, Babu, your, Babu. Your when 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 God, Babu, when God's watching these kids get touched upon, like the whole action, everything. Does he like it or does he not? I don't think God has any feelings. To, the only thing that God has ever claimed to have and discuss is joy. Okay, so, he, so he has, so he has no emotions. Disgust and joy. So he has no emotions then. What do you mean? He? I just told you, disgust and joy. Those are you, two very complex no, no, things. No, no. You, but they're you, not for us you, to understand. You, you, just, you just, I would say, you just I would said say, he doesn't have feelings. You I would just say, say he doesn't have feelings. I said he wouldn't feel anything in that. In that scenario, that, that is too human. Yeah, he, 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 he's no devoid of emotion. Planet Earth. The, uh, look, I, if I started to tell you right. what I what I believe, you would start to think it was it was bullcrap because you don't understand. That's that's all Babel, it is. No, no, Babel, 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 do you see what's the problem? Now, what you're saying is not adding up. You're saying he's loving, he's caring, all that. All that stuff requires emotion. If you're telling me he does, he's not going to feel nothing. Then that yeah, does that, not add up with his character. That so he so is. when has he ever been portrayed as perverted in the Bible? You you can say love, disgust, caring, but you can't say. I mean, hey, 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 hey. He made he made Adam and Eve and allowed, allowed that you know, incest to happen. You know what I'm saying? You know. Hey man, it's pretty weird. Hey man, he created them. Who's to tell who what kind of genes they had and how they could have procreated? We're here, ain't we? It's not for us to question. Yeah, but we know Wincest didn't make all of us beautiful people and stuff. But look, that's the, the point is, is it, at Babylon, what you're saying is not adding. What you're saying is not adding up. You can't be loving and not have emotions in the moment. So okay, Baboon, so Baboon, as I asked, in the moment that he's looking at these kids get touched, does he like it or does he dislike it? He's probably disgusted. Okay, he's pro- so he's so so he's disgusted by it. Yeah. So the only logical thing for him to do. Is step in and do something about it if he dislikes it so much. It's not for him to do in that so, moment. They that are to be him. punished when they go, when they die, when they go, when they go to the great beyond, whatever. Unalive, unalive. Wait, 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 it's all accorded. It's all uh, accounted in a book, basically. All right. your accounts. But, but, but Listen, that, that, what if they that, repent? Hold, hold on. Just, 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 just a moment. R, just a moment. Yeah. RT Dex. I'm going to let RT go. And then Dex, you can jump into it. I really don't care about the the after. I'm more but focused why, on the before. Why are you the wanting fo- in the moment? Why do you wait, 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 wait. So we can nip it in the bud. So we can nip it in the bud. And, the, and the trauma doesn't connect. I, I know that. Baboon, baboon. I don't believe in God. I don't believe in the devil. I know what humans are sick. I know this. Now, baboon. This is the this 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 is the, the, the You're saying nip it in the bud, then he would just not create pedophiles. Yes. Okay, baboon, baboon, baboon. Is it better to nip a problem in the bud or let it happen and then fix it? What is it be- what 
what's the better thing to do? Human Nip it in the bud before it, 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 it happens or stop it after it happens. Well, fix it after it happens. What, what's better? Um, I, I would say, like I said, by human understanding, taking it, taking it beforehand, so the problem stops. But that's not for right, us, right? Right? So, 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 if so, God should be in, in, so, school, and, and, hold on. and God's more intelligent than us. So He should be intelligent enough if He knows ahead of time that this action is going to happen, and He doesn't like this stuff. He should be stepping in to go like, oh, boop, boop. Not gonna let that, that happen. So this doesn't happen. That doesn't even make sense. Either he would not create the kid, or he would not create the individual raping the kid. I mean, arring, arring, arring. My fault. Oh my uh, god. Bro, my fault. Yeah, bro, jump, jump. jump. No, no, jump, jump. No, no, jump, jump. No, no, no. Jump down and then jump back up. Cause um, take a lap real quick. Jump down, jump back up. Guess your question. All right, Jordy, True Sav, y'all believers in the Lord. Oh, and go to RT. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I gotta let. RT I'll and Dex get in. Come back. I just wanted to um, ask um, because he's saying, oh, he would do with them later, but how does that work? Because um, according to the Christian doctrine, if you repent and you're sincere for your sins, uh, then you will go to heaven. So this is similar to the Jeffrey Dahmer thing. So if he then, if the person finished, you know, finishing in the child literally turns around and then says hey like i'm the next day i'm repenting blah blah blah. he's gonna go to heaven and if the child doesn't forgive them they are going to go to hell how does that make sense when he comes back up i really want to i really want to touch on that because how does that work oh and uh to all the new christians and stuff coming on the panel and this is where anybody that gets a request answer the question directly please i don't look Moving forward, I don't need stories about the background of your faith, all that. I just need to know you're a believer in God and that you want to have come up. Just answer the question directly, please. And don't right. use free I don't will either because, yeah, don't use free will either because that argument will just literally destroy it immediately. So, yeah. I mean, look, they can use it if they want to, but I am going to ask for that definition. If, if you can't give me the definition of it or understand what it is then you can't use free will but please ask the question directly cody jordy true side you guys believers in god i'll answer it um i used yes, to be um a believer in god but when i started reading the bible more for myself i really saw how cruel he was in the the beginning of everything because you know christians believe that god has a day when he's going to come and fix everything um but you know when you think about it he, nobody Choose, he chose the day so he honestly could change the day if he, if he wanted to you know the day when he was going to fix everything um so that's why they say he's not going to step in with anything bad you know because he has a certain day when he's going to do it but it doesn't really make sense because like you said he helped the israelites you know and they he saved them from slavery he had miracle after miracle showing them proof and even when christians mention how you know, God is different than us and he's divine and he doesn't live by our standards. I'm like, who decided that? You're only basing this off of the words of other men who wrote the book. You've never experienced anything that they've experienced in the Bible, you know, miracles or resurrections, any of that. Like, it, it, yeah, it's nice for the Israelites that they saw all that stuff, but maybe their God was just, they loved their God more than other people who didn't write a book about their God. Okay. So that's my take well, on it. Jordy, I'm glad you have been free from the chains of Christianity. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> you, you, you'll no longer bathe in the blood of Jesus. Let me take the blood off you. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it. All right, True Sav, Cody, you guys are believers in God. Um, what's up? Why is the Christian God not protecting kids that get violated by P3DOs? Why is he just sitting there and looking at that nasty stuff happening? Like, why is he looking at it? Not acting. So from, from my take, right, so uh, just like, I, I can't remember the guy who was just up, right, so uh, pretty much like Jordy said, yes, he created he created humans based off of what we, we, we all believe, um, and whatever you believe, you just believe it to be fact. So whether you don't believe, you have your reasons, and you believe it to be fact. So we believe in the words and what was said. So he created humans, and he gave humans free will, but he did also have a day to choose what well, to give judgment for those who did evil and good. So you're saying like you want him to step in and stop these certain acts, but he's in a different realm. So we know that, well, you don't believe in it, but we do believe that there's a spiritual aftermath, right? 
where you're actually going to live afterwards if you did good and if, you know, you have your punishment for if you did evil. So I understand what you're saying. Like, yes, you want him to stop stop now, but, you know, your your life, life is life. So it's going to be good and it's going to be actually... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Well, let me say, I don't want him to because I don't believe in him. It's up to us as people to do something about it. So I don't want him to. But if he does exist, when you say if he does exist, then he right. really needs to step in. Right. But, but like I don't like, believe he exists. God is a is a is a different deity living in a different realm. So he physically can't control you or me, right? So if you're evil, so, and you have, wait, wait, yes. so so he's not so he's not all powerful. Yes, he's powerful, but not physically controlling like 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 me. I believe, but he can't just physically well, 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 control whether me. it's fi- whether whether it's physically, spiritually, whatever. If he if he can do whatever he wants, anything he wants. If he can if he can turn water into wine, all this stuff, then it doesn't matter if he has a physical body or whatever or not. He can do whatever he wants. Yeah, and that's also he not should personal. be able to do whatever but, he wants. That, that's, 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 that's from your that's from your understanding and what you feel like he should be able to do. But like, no, no, okay, okay, Cody, all, Cody, Cody, the- Cody, 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 is God actively everywhere all at once? Actively, no, I, I, no, you can't say that. No. Wait, wait. So, so, so God doesn't know what's happening right now with our conversation. We're having. We're having. No, I don't think he's all knowing in that aspect. Like, okay, you're gonna wake up and do this at seven thirteen. No, he's all knowing in the sense of what he created and what's going to happen throughout time until the return of Jesus Christ. Okay, so he, so he's why, not the Almighty. So he's have, not the Almighty God. No, he's all knowing, but like I say, in in okay, the, if okay, well, that's the thing. That's this thing. See, it's either he's all knowing or he knows some things. No, he's it's, he's, it's, 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 it's either he's all knowing or he knows some from, things. That's you can't, you can't be all knowing and not, not know something like you gotta, if you all, if you all know it, you know that's everything. From your, that's from your understanding of what you think all knowing he is. It's not all knowing in the, it, 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 it's not okay. all knowing. Okay. Okay. Can I explain? It's not all knowing in the aspect of every human being on earth. He knows every single thing they're going to do all day. No. Well, can I add? Real quick. Well, yeah, yeah. We also uh, we also need to get True to jump in. I don't want True to like you know feel like he he or she True he or she want to convert. Oh, I'm, so I'm in. I'm enjoying them dig this hole. I can wait for him to stop digging. <laughs> Who me? No, talking about True. Uh, as as the reasonable Christian in the room, I'm just waiting for you to stop digging. Well, I mean, I, well, okay. Well, can I just say? I, I mean, I, I mean, I'm jump, jump in, that. jump in whenever. Go ahead, Z, yeah, go ahead, jump, go ahead. Yeah, RT, yeah, Dex, y'all yeah. can jump in too. Don't feel like y'all can't. RT and Dex, yeah, y'all yeah, can yeah. jump in too. Um, but I was just go gonna ahead. say, like, like, I mean, from what I know, he is all knowing. Like, he know if he knows every single hair on your head, then I believe that he would know what time and all that. He probably know he know about the conversation, all that. From from what I know, he knows everything. So he sees it all. He even see, like you said in the in the question, he sees the people, he knows all that. So he sees it all. He even see, like you said in the in the question, he sees the So he sees it all. God, God just God just disturbed the lives. Cody had an echo. Okay, so true. A, a true, because uh, I want to get you get you guys. I'm not really getting a direct answer to my question, honestly. Um, oh wait, wait, wait. Oh. I just, I just, you know, I, I'm, not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not mad at nobody. I'm just saying, I'm so far, I'm not getting a direct answer to my question. I'm mad at nobody. I'm, I don't know how much you gotta break it down, but you guys, if God's loving, if God loves children, if God's caring and whatever, Him sitting there, watching children get violated, makes no sense. If He's caring, loving, nurturing, all this stuff, it doesn't make any sense. Uh, a, 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 a nurturing mother would step in if she saw a kid trying to get, you know, great. She may not be successful in stopping it, but, step, but, if, she, but if, if, she, if she if she claims she loves children, if she's nurturing and caring and stuff, she's going to stand on business. If she doesn't, then she's clearly not what she claims she is, you know. I wanted to comment on the um, the free will part that people keep bringing up, because like you said, if a parent sees something going on and they stop their kid from being, you know, corrupted or from being injured or hurt, you know, or assaulted, then that person still has free will who is attempting to do it. 
they just stopped it from happening. That's common sense. Right. And if anybody's Christian, oh, true. Let, let's get your uh, answer to the question, true. Come on. We haven't heard from true yet. What's good, true? Uh, sorry. Good afternoon. How are we doing today? Doing good. All right. I, I was late. And play. To uh, answer your question, drinking on Jesus' blood. Nah, that was, Jesus must have been in the house and he turned water into wine. I ain't mad at you. Um, why is the Christian guy not protecting? Allegedly, it's because what happens on this plane, I guess, sets you up for the end. So if a child is being hurt, the child is innocent. It says God looks after children and fools. So the the rationale has been if you, someone is done wrong on this plane or they are unalived and something as bad is happening to them, they automatically go to heaven. So if something something unjust is happening to this person, then they automatically go to heaven. That's that's the rationale that I've heard my entire life. Hey, true, bro. Mm. That's it. Is that you, Brittany? Me? No, it's my son. Sorry. Oh, I was about to say. He's, he's sick. It's daddy daycare. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, Yo, I okay, so wait, wait, well, 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 true. Are you, are you a believer? I just want to confirm, like, do you believe in God? Yes. Or, wait. Okay, so you're a believer in God. Okay, okay. So, well, this is the thing. Does it make sense, especially all the Christians on this panel, I'm asking, does it make sense that someone can claim they love children and watch a child get great and just look at it and not no. act at all? No. So that's the thing. I, I, that's the thing. And I want to make sure to move on to new Christians and stuff. But this thing, you guys can be honest. If y'all tell me God wants it to happen, fine. If y'all tell me God, uh, you know, God just isn't standing on business, fine by me. And if you say, I don't know, He's that's also fine. Hey, but you know what? For, to, for me to answer, I would say, like, I feel like to all of us, yeah, it wouldn't make, it wouldn't make sense, but then it, but then again, to my knowledge, like, I feel like we don't, this, and this is just off of what I believe, off of what I've been taught, but we don't think um, on God's level. Like you said, if we're talking about an all-powerful, all-knowing deity and all that, I mean, I can't just put my level of thinking on his. You know, that's the way I would look at it. Because, of course, a lot of things that I would wonder why the world is the way it is. I, I, I can't say, like, it makes it don't make sense to me either, but at the same time, I mean, that's the best way I could. I could yeah, answer. but but Z, the, I'm sorry. Sorry, go ahead, you go. You go ahead. Should, okay, cool. Thank you. It'll be quick. It's just how you Christians say that quite a bit. You know, we can't understand what God's ways are higher than ours. So how are we expected to follow something correctly if we can't understand it correctly? Because if I don't understand, maybe I could accidentally do something wrong, and then that messes up my chances of going to heaven. Um and I can't do anything about it because I don't understand. So if we don't understand God, how are we supposed to follow him efficiently? Um, well, to answer that too, like, it's, I mean, and like I said, I'm, somebody might correct me on this. You know what I'm saying? Like I told you, there's probably Christians that know it better than I do. But what I say is like, I mean, the Bible kind of pretty much tells you like, it's about faith, but it it is it do give you though. I'm not I'm not knocking the fact that it do give you like actual mm -hmm. knowledge. It do it really could guide, guide you the right way yeah. if you pay attention. But at the same time, the main part of it, from what I've been taught, is it's about faith. But it so, does have knowledge in it at the same that's, time. That's that's a great point, Z. I mean, uh, thank you for bringing that up. I I wanted to know: is it possible to put faith in just about any topic? Like, as an example, one race is better than another race. I've got faith in that. I wouldn't say so. I wouldn't say. You wouldn't say that it's possible to put faith in anything? Nah, nah. You, you can't just do it anything. Nah. You couldn't do that? It's impossible? So you said to put it on, like, any old thing? Nah. Okay. Yeah, I'm... yeah. Because people go, I have faith I'm going to get that job tomorrow. I have faith I'm going to get that raise tomorrow. Um, mm -hmm. I have faith in this, that, or the other. Couldn't you even go to the point in saying, I have faith that I am I am better than this person because my color of my skin is different than theirs? No, I would not say that. But you know... No, I'm, but you, I'm, I'm yeah. saying, could you, though? Could you do that? Not you, but it could it be done? Are you saying, like, people... I mean, yeah, there's people out here that think like that, so it's not, so it's not a problem. Think, 
Yeah, so do you think that faith is a reliable way to get to the truth? Uh, well, you know what? And I'm, I'm, I'm going to answer what you just said because... Sure, Jerry, can I, y'all I hear me? It I, I think yeah, it depends yeah. because... The thing is, if you do get that job, if you do get that job tomorrow, then it's like, dang, I did get the job and I had faith. But sometimes it don't work like that. Okay. But you you so, could have you could have a good reason to have yeah. confidence on why you're gonna get that job. You may have already been talking to people. You may have already already been told, yeah, you good at the job. You they trust you. And then yeah. you got another and on the other end, it's like, oh, like you got people saying, man, I don't know about you gonna make it. I don't know if you're gonna do that. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so there's two, Can y'all there's hear two me? sides to it. It depends. Yeah, yeah, we hear you. We hear you. Just All hold right. on. So, so I, I have a question. Do you believe that there is a timeline going on transcending humans? So that means that we're not the apex predator on this earth, but the devil is. Do you do you believe that? Do you believe that there is a, a devil on this earth? Yeah. That there's okay. a devil? Yeah. No. Yeah. That's- Okay, so so y- y'all know the well, Marvel movies, asking, right? Like Loki. Are you asking the questions? Yeah, yeah. No, I'm asking like okay. a question. If you believe that there is a force between us and God called the devil, that means he that means that he has temporary dominion in this realm. Like you think of Mortal Kombat, you know how the realms N- Nether Realm had a ruler, right? Sorry. So, yeah. So 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 you think about the devil is like the Shang Tsung or the Shao Kahn of Earth. He has temporary dominion. That means that means I can't teleport to heaven and and accept responsibility for this realm, but he has to, just like in Job. He had to show up before God to get an accounting. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm listening. Okay. Okay. So what if I told you that because there is a timeline above my life that lasts for generations on this earth? thousands of generations because the devil lives longer than i do that all the the sick sadistic ish that happens on this earth to children gets pinned on him because it happened under his rulership on this earth that means he burns in hell for it like if you look at the bible god did not create hell for humans he created hell for the devil and his angel you see what i'm saying People yeah. that make evil, they have chosen to throw their lot in with the temporary ruler of this realm, of this of, of this earth. Now, yeah, you ask, you can ask me, okay, well, where's the proof of the devil? You know, like you know, because we're so scientifically oriented. But then, remember when scientists said that lead paint was safe? Well, experts can get it wrong. You see what I'm saying? So. Yeah. If there is a force called the devil on this earth, I have no idea how you tried to equate the lead paint thing, there, brother. It's demonstrable no, no, I'm sta- evidence. I, I'm, that no, no, I, I, okay. Science. But at one point, at one point on this earth, on this earth, by earthly standards and earthly measurements, in that moment, they said that lead paint was safe. Did they not? In that I, in that moment of science, time, did they? Hey, Adam, can I can I answer your question now? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Go ahead. Okay, Go ahead. Well, then, then that means you don't talk, and I do. Then, so it's right. it's the question is, how did the scientists get it so wrong? Scientists have been getting it wrong throughout the years. That's why it's called science. They're trying to prove themselves wrong, and as we in, in scientific communities evolve, we test and de- demonstrate through testing and testing and proving things through scientific methods that prove things are safe or not oh. safe. And we use the scientific method to do these things, which is why Christianity and other religions fall so short upon being able to prove any real evidence that's demonstrable and testable by those that don't believe. And it comes down to faith and understanding of what they believe from the book to know it rather than testing and demonstrable evidence. Okay, I like that answer. I like that. That's you're, you're very knowledgeable. But I have a question for you. How come two gentlemen, both suffering from depression, both being molested by their uncle, how come one of them goes on to be a pedophile and the other doesn't? Can you use science to explain that? Hang on. on. We're saying words in the live we shouldn't say. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm sorry. sorry. Wait. wait, No, I'm saying guess your question. Drop down, guess your question, and come back up because you got terms of service. I can answer that question while you drop down, Adam. So – Essentially, what it comes down to is 
the way people are raised and the things that they experience in their life and the and the and the people they interact with are a large part of why some people do things and some people don't. It's the way society and the way their parents, family, and others around them, it has nothing to do with a book or belief in a religion on how we get morals, beliefs, or anything else. It's more of your fellows around you that do that, and science and different types of education that come into these things. Beliefs in a religion are secondary. What were we doing before religion when we were still writing on the walls and flinging our poo at each other 65,000 years ago? We were... We were, you know, in large part working as communities together to help each other. I don't take your things. You don't take mine. It doesn't take a God to prove those morals or beliefs to make us a better person on why one person would do one thing and another another. So. And uh, before Adam responds, if yeah. you're a Christian, guest requests, come on up, because we're going to roll it back to the topic soon. If you're Christian, I need direct answers. Come stand on business. There's already Christians on here standing on business. So come stand on business, guest request. Don't be afraid, you know. Yeah, you, and you, I appreciate you, you having me on and a, a bunch of different views because it's, you know, not everybody comes from the same, you know, walk of life. Not everybody comes from the same road. So I appreciate this, you know, like it, it's, it, it builds understanding. Um but yeah, um, and, I, I, but, uh, look, wait, wait, real quick, make sure you guys vote on the poll. That's a very important poll that I need to be voted on. Um, the poll is in the top left right here. Please vote on that poll. It's going to determine something pretty important in this life. I, uh, go, go ahead, Adam. Possibly go ahead. the easiest answer in poll ever. Go ahead, Adam. The, the only thing I'm saying is, is just like a gazelle on the, what, what the Sahara Plains. You know how a gazelle, that lion dictates that gazelle's reality, even though maybe that gazelle has yet to encounter a lion because the planes are so big, right? All I'm saying is that we humans share this earth with evil entities that are above us. They are more powerful than us, and they transcend our timeline in our little 87 years of life. They've existed for hundreds of to thousands of generations on this earth. And, you know, I can't, I can't prove it if you're looking for scientific evidence. However, I can cite that every day the evils on this earth, you know what I mean? Like there is, for example, has anybody ever been gaslit by somebody when they're caught in a lie, right? Like there, there's two kinds of people caught in a lie. The first kind, yeah, you know, okay, they come clean. They're like, oh, I, I, I you know, I'm sorry. Yeah, I did try to steal that money. I, you know, I'm sorry, mom. I'm sorry, dad. You know, they come, they, they, when they're caught in a lie, they confess. But there's another kind of evil on this earth of pathological lying that we've encountered in the form of gaslighting that it has to be beyond human. It has to be demonic and satanic. It just does not make sense because it is such, it is, there's such a huge, huge gap between those two forms of being caught in a lie. And it's just like that, that analogy, a gazelle, that lion, the, the, the lion transcends the gazelle in its, in its, in its hierarchy of, you know, being the apex predator of that plane. The devil transcends my ranking on this earth. That means that no matter what my day, my day to day life is going to be affected and influenced by him. I'm going to need someone of higher power level you know like 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 in dragon ball z i can't take right. on cell dog i have to go to goku like i, I somebody I mean, has adam, got to you know adam oh you gotta land yeah. the plane so we can get back to yeah I get got back it. to the main topic because i don't think i i, I, I need to get your answer right. yeah all right so um current christians on the panel j rob i had you up here too many times i already know you're gonna say some stuff but Adam, God is good all the time, correct? Yes. God is caring. He's yeah. Nurturing. Yes. Yeah. Loving. And he yes. loves the children too, right? Yes. All right. Does it make sense for a person that's all these things to just watch as a child is getting touched and just looking at no. it? It does not. Not stepping in and doing anything. And it this is not. the thing. Mm-hmm. 
does God want it to happen? Does God like it? Or does God just not care? And he's just like, do what you got to do. Okay. That's a good question. That, I mean, and that that's one that even to this day I struggle with because my, the, when I'm on this earth, it seems like it's easier for someone to be on the throne in heaven with this big distance, wherever that is, than to be down here hearing these things, hearing people that were product of, you know, those things. At, 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 you know, Adam, Adam, huh? Wait, wait. What? I, I, I just want a simple answer. Just want a simple answer. I don't want nothing too you long. You want like a yes or no? No, not a yes or no. Just not a yes okay. or no. Simply, yeah, well, what do you, what do you think it is? Yeah. Is it, does he like yeah. does he like watching the actions? Does he not care, yeah. or yeah. does it have to happen? Like, yeah. well, what is it? I'm Keep sorry. First, I, I was just validating, you know, your question. I was just validating that. I, I, I feel like that's valid. Okay. I'm sorry if you don't like this answer, but because God has resurrection power and He has the ability to make someone forget about this life in eternity, then quite frankly. He can do whatever he wants whenever he wants because he's sovereign. He outranks me. Does he's that include snapping the devil away? Huh? Okay. Could he snap that's, his that's, fingers yes. and make the devil go away? If it, it, and one day, the devil is seized and held in a spiritual prison like called – it's very similar to Tartarus. You know what I mean? But I can't offer you direct evidence right now that Tartarus exists. Well, well, but, well, Adam, well, Adam, well Adam, okay, so – he, God can do whatever he wants. Fine. If that's what you want your answer to be, cool. So so basically, he really doesn't care. He, he kind of picks and chooses what he cares about, right? Not, he basically not picks that. and chooses. He's not, there's no real not, consistency on him acting. He just picks I and feel, chooses, right? I feel, I feel like God gets blamed when he doesn't get involved, but then yet he gets blamed when he gets involved. And I feel like it's unfair to him because it's like if I was on a date with a girl and she wants me to not be controlling, then if this guy is like running his mouth off or he's do if he's doing something to try to get at me, then the best thing I can do as a man is to let him run his mouth, you know, not not exert control, but let him make his free will choices and then show confidence. And I believe there are times on this earth where God sits back. And he shows that collected confidence of coolness. He doesn't directly get involved. He lets us go through tough things because sometimes those tough things help others, man. When they hear about the tough things we went through, instead of hanging themselves, they hear our stories right, and right, it gives but, them hope. Adam, 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 real yeah. quick, because I got to get to Desi. I got to make sure she's go ahead, a go ahead, yeah. so I get in. Yeah. But this, that's the thing. God allowing stuff to happen if it has to teach somebody something is creating unnecessary trauma that can be prevented like kids shouldn't have to be used as an example of going through a great situation to teach somebody else hey you know make sure you're mindful of weird adults and stuff or whatever like that shouldn't be character development that's unnecessary character development sure there's some people that bounce back from it there's some people that's still very much haunted by it but you know, if that's if he wants to use children as character development to teach other people, it's kind of messed up. And you know, I mean, they, like, up, these, uh, these are innocent, defenseless children. They can't really; they're just being used as pawns. Can I add two to the uh, back to the question again? Yeah, go ahead, Z, and then we're gonna get to Desi. Desi, you a believer? Right. Or, just make sure we're Desi, you a believer in God? Yes, host. Thank you. Thank you for cool. having me. Yeah. Cool. 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 Yeah. Go so yeah, I'll make it quick. I'll make it quick. Um, cause I, I thought about it too. And there's stories in the Bible that 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 kind of show that it's not like the Bible, like it's the least thing that's around the bush about the question. More than I think the more more than I can answer in any other Christian. But I just put it like this. I what I realized too is that um like I said, due to my belief in what I've been what I've seen and been taught, is that um it also does say like that like the vengeance like vengeance is the lord's so a lot of like these p3dos and whatnot you see like <clears throat> how should i say this man uh like these things come back to these people like that do that do these bad deeds to these children so it's not like and the thing is is because 
like I said, God, it does say too that, you know, how should I say this though? Cause I see, I don't want to quote it wrong, but it does say like that. Um, God, he, he comes back at those people that, that come, that come to like hurt, you know what I'm saying? The children and stuff like that. So the whole thing is that, you know, I mean, people might want to call it karma, yada, 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 whatever. But I mean, due to our belief, like he does punish those, he does punish these people. So it ain't like it's just it ain't like the person just uh, whatever. When, when do they get punished exactly? Uh, it's not my choice. As God, He just makes that happen, and it, it don't even it, it don't happen even when they're still alive or after they're they're being you know in the afterlife. It could be both, and it, and that brings you back to that. I, I'm not gonna get too deep into it, but there's a whole story that it, that explains it in the Bible better. But like I said, I ain't gonna get deep into it. But yeah, pretty much. Yeah, if they if they get judged in the afterlife, if they've already accepted Jesus into their heart as being their Lord and Savior, wouldn't they be forgiven of that sin? Yeah, they can, but they'll still be punished on earth, though. That's what and that's what I mean. Like people get locked up, you can still go to heaven, but you're gonna be locked up, sure. or see, or you sure. could get you. Well, or, uh, they can uh, okay, Z, 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 but but Z, this this the messed up thing about that. Let me give a prime example of this waiting for them to get their just due after they unlive or whatever. Emmett Till, we're going to use Emmett Till as an example. Emmett Till only lived to, he didn't even get reach it to the age of 18. Right? He, mm-hmm. he lost his life as a young kid. But well, he, said the one, hmm? he said who? My bad. Emmett Till. Emmett Till. Right. But the woman who lied on him got to live until she was in her 80s. She never went to jail. She got off scot-free. Yeah, she had people that you know, was bashing her and stuff, but she got to live dang near a full life. Like, where was the justice from, like, God just sat here, let this situation play out. This woman that straight up lied on him, he did nothing wrong. Yeah. Got to live a full life. And his little innocent boy lost his life early, and she's supposedly, she's supposedly getting punished right now, but she clearly got to live a good full life. Yeah, but yeah, Emmett Till couldn't get, to, couldn't, couldn't get to live that. There was no protection from God for him. God just sat there, let all these people uh, lie on this little boy, take him and beat him up and stuff. Yeah, true. where was his justice? You know, like that's where was his yeah, justice? That, yeah, that is. Yeah, and I ain't gonna lie, that that story. Where did where did, like, you know? No, you're right. I mean, I the only thing I could say to that because I mean, because if like anything, because real, real quick, because if anything, God could have stepped in right there. And say, yo, uh, this ain't right. Y'all about to do this as a little boy. I ain't messing with this. Y'all do something. I'm, I'm gonna pull out the, you know, the, the death note. Psh. I feel. Now, I, I feel. I feel. I, cause I mean, and that's things that like, uh, like what somebody else has said. But it's 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 things I wonder too. Like I, I, cause I ain't gonna lie. That's that story alone. Like every time I hear that story, it hurts me as well. Like I don't know. That's how I feel. But the only thing I could say to that is that. I, we really don't know what went on in that woman's life after that. We don't know how the guilt she may have felt or anything that could have possibly happened to her before or after. And I mean I mean, but 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 let's make this clear. She she never faced judgment. Yeah, no, no. Well, not in not she, not she got ridiculed, judgment. but let's be real, she never faced judgment. She never got confronted. Nobody's did anything to her to get that, you know, get some justice for Till. Like but, but we don't free. We don't know. We we're not we're not in her life twenty four seven watching though. We don't know how hard her she could have financial hardships be just the tip of the iceberg of consequences. We don't. I know mean, everybody, this. everybody, everybody has financial hardships, but she got to live until the age of eighty. Emmett Till got to live until uh, does, only what the does, age of does fourteen. Does everybody have financial hardships? Does does there, Washington D.C. do politicians have financial hardships? I mean, there's some people in America that are not going through the hardships that others are. Yeah, but I have to say, comparing comparing me losing a few Benjamins out of my wallet to what Emmett Till had to go through is probably um, not even on the same fucking galaxy. Oh. Yeah, I said tip of the iceberg of consequences. So I'm not it's just not even the same it. ocean, brother. It's not even yeah, the yeah, same. Yeah, yeah, this, this, yeah. This is this is the thing. If anything, God should have stepped in to do something in the moment. If he's as all loving being, and Emmett Till was a kid too. You know, he was a kid. If if God loved Emmett Till enough, he would have stepped in to help this boy because what happened to him, it's not like Emmett Till actually did what he did. He got straight up lied on, he got conspired against, and then that action happened to him. He was totally innocent. He got set up. 
And then that happened. And God just sat there and looked at it. Yeah, that's just you know, I will say I will say this though, but and that's another thing. And 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 and, 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 and look, just people get ridiculed. Look, um, Kanye West gets ridiculed, but he he's for sure living his best life with all his Benjamins and stuff. He gets ridiculed all the time, but he living his best life. He just got you know recently number one album and stuff right now. He living his best life. So just because someone gets ridiculed doesn't change the fact that yo they 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 living good. A lot of people get talked about, but he living good. And that woman, she got to live her best life while Emmett Till got to not live his best life. You got to admit that living in a penthouse, you don't have to listen to all that ridicule all that much. True. Mm. So let me get to Desi real quick. She's a believer. So Desi, why is a Christian God not protecting kids that get violated by P3DS? So basically the way I see it... Oh, wait, can you hear me first? Yes, we can hear you. Oh, okay. I just want to sure. Basically the way I see it is... I think that in any creator's universe, there will always be physical limitations. And we're not with God, so we don't know if he does have these physical limitations to what he can do. As we know him, he is an all-powerful, all-loving being, but, you know, we can't say for sure. So my hypothesis is that because he gave us free will, he can't interfere with that because of the physical limitations of him creating everything for us. So basically... Des, you got a huge echo in your background. Your background's oh, strong. Really? You sound like you're in a stadium. Oh, that's my bad. That was probably my AC. Um, but anyway, so, um... AC, wow. Yeah, so... Yeah, basically, yeah, free will, um, he can't interfere with that, and yeah. Okay, so, <laughs> Desi, so Desi, let me ask. When, when people say, oh, God bless him with this new house, God bless me with, you know, with with this with this scholarship is god interfering in that stuff or is that just people just yapping yeah no that's just people exercising their free will i think okay so 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 you don't think god interferes in anything no the, the way i see it is there is good and evil world, and we we can't have the good without the evil and i think that that's definitely lucifer doing that's not god mm-hmm. Okay. I think real quick, real, real, real quick, real quick, guys. Uh, Vivi had to. Uh, well, Vivi going now. So let me just like before y'all go. Let me get Vivi up. Damn, hold up. Mo, hold up, Mo. I'll bring you back up. Vivi got to show real quick. So look, you guys, the comments is down for a bit. I wonder why Vivi gonna tell y'all what's up. I don't hear know why ye. the comments is down. I think that was God. Hear ye, hear ye. We have 155 people in this live. It's been stuck below 20K taps. Y'all some lazy mo- Mm-mm. I didn't know Jesus makes lazy motherfuckers. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. It's not like oh, take it that far, you know. Sorry, sorry, no, sorry. No, I'm not saying thing. let's not take it been, that far. I've been, I mean, I've been I'm, a bit, I'm, you know, I've been a bit- I forgive you, Vivi. However, however, these comments gonna stay off until we reach 50K. So there's no more yapping and ranting in the comments. Yep, I said what I said. Because it's not that hard. It's 150. If 150 people, right, if you use those strong little flick the bean fingers and double tap the screen, we're going to be there in no time. Okay? And well, once y'all me, do that. Let, let, me, let me add on to it just to make the people feel better. No, Guys, if you tap that screen, I'll make sure that TD Jakes and his associates, Meek Mill and all them people, don't come and swallow y'all up. I'll make sure if you tap that screen, TD Jakes, TD Cakes, and Diddy and Meek Mill will not get you. I'll make sure to protect you, and God's going to protect you too. Tap that screen, get us the 50K. Vivi's standing on business. That part. Y'all do it. Y'all do what she says. Y'all do what she says. We can make it. 50K, 50K. Look, now it works. I had to come up here being mother. Look, look. Look how quick. Exactly. Hey, Dot, I have faith that we're going to make it. I have we are going to make it. We're going to make it. Amen. With God, anything is possible. With God, anything is possible. Amen. Now, now Desi and Sarahi. Amen. 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 Amen.
No, no, she says she. Oh, wait. So, do you subscribe to the God of the Bible? Well, because we no, say religious. I'm, a I'm religious, but I'm not a Christian. Okay, okay, okay. Got it, got it. No, got I wasn't it. talking to you, Tato. Oh. I was talking to somebody that asked why the comments were off. Oh, Buddhist. I never had a Buddhist up here. Oh, you're standing on business. Cool. Well, you can stay in. Um, I am Buddhist. an ex Christian. Um, so, I know a fair amount about the religion and um whenever i hear anything about you know god doesn't want to intervene and that's why he does it god intervenes all the time that's like his favorite hobby um he inter he intervened with saddam uh jesus intervened with uh raising lazarus from the dead um he intervened with noah in the ark he uh intervened when he sent his only son to die for our sins um oh, wait. So, sorry, make, make, make sure you say i'm alive i'm alive when it's oh, like K-I-L-O, D-I-E, may she say unalive or okay. delete. Um, he intervened with the book of Job. Um, it, it, he intervenes all the time. Um, as for, you know, the free will argument, um, there is no free will when there is the, uh, the threat of burning forever in heck, I guess you could say. Uh, there, there's no such thing as free will when I'm giving you an option um, with a threat behind it. We have um, the power to choose. Also, or or, or also okay. just about side of point. Or real quick, okay. just out on the side of East point. In the definition of free will, you know, you can't be, you can't even be constrained by fate. If God knew ahead of time before 